हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल हो यू आर डूइंग गुड आई एम एक्साइटेड टू टीच यू स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स मैथ्स बिफोर वी बिगिन विद द क्लास यू नीड टू हैव अ नोटबुक एंड अ पेन अलोंग विद यू सो लेट्स बिगिन मम्मी हैज बेक्ड अ पिज्जा नाउ she has to divide the pizza among your family members the family consists of four members parents sibling and you now mummy has to divide the pizza in such a way that each and every member in the family gets the equal number of shares or the pizza is divided equally among all can you think children which will be the correct option i am sure you might have guessed it right the correct option is option b one pizza one whole pizza is divided into four parts since you are a family of four and it is divided equally so that each and every one gets the same number of parts so we will write this in the form of a fraction so each one gets 1 by 4 part of the pizza so today let's study fractions my objective for today's class is students will be able to define fraction second recognize the types of fraction now what is a fraction a fraction is a number written in the form of a upon b where a and b are whole numbers and b is not zero so the denominator is never zero numerator written on the top separated by fraction bar the numerator and denominator are separated by fraction bar let's think of one more example you have a piece of chocolate in your home now you and your sibling has to divide it in such a way that both of you get an equal share can you think how much what will be the fraction okay to support your answer let's draw a rectangle let this rectangle be the piece of chocolate now this chocolate you have to divide it into two equal parts think how you can represent in the represent in the form of fraction i am sure you might have guessed it right each of you will get half of the chocolate well done now let's study the parts of a fraction parts of the fraction numerator is always written on the top followed by the denominator is always written at the bottom numerator in the numerator you always have to write the number of shaded parts number of shaded parts clear numerator you will always write the number of shaded parts in this given figure one part is shaded so you will write one in the numerator in the denominator you will write the total number of parts total number of parts two parts in the whole object okay so how many equal parts in the whole object so here it is two equal parts so you will write two in the denominator hope you are clear numerator always write the number of shaded parts and in the denominator you write the total number of parts in the whole 
object in this way you will frame a fraction if there is a pictorial figure now let's try to answer this what is the fraction of the given figure children please think i hope you might have come up with the answers so now let's count how many parts are shaded yes three parts are shaded so three parts that is number three you will write it in the numerator what is the total number of parts yes you have guessed it right four so total four parts total four new how many parts are shaded three so what is the fraction the fraction is three upon four i am sure everyone might have got up this this answers now i have a task for you find the fraction of these shapes later you can pause my video and you can complete this task let's move further types of fraction fractions are divided into proper fraction improper fraction and mixed numbers proper fraction in the proper fraction numerator is always smaller than the denominator example 1 upon 3 5 upon 8 numerator is always smaller than the denominator improper fraction numerator is always greater than the denominator improper fraction numerator is always greater than the denominator example 7 by 3 4 by 8 and mixed numbers what are mixed numbers they have a whole number and a fraction so hope you are clear with the types of fraction let's revise proper fraction numerator is always smaller than the denominator improper fraction numerator is greater than the denominator and mixed numbers they have a whole number and a fraction hope you have understood today's session i have another task for you today classify as proper fraction improper fraction or mixed fraction please pause my video later and please complete the task in your notebook hope you all enjoyed today's session thank you children have a nice day bye bye